Yes, I'm 50 and I have osteoarthritis in my knees. It's bone on bone. I have it in my fingers and I have it in my shoulders. It's real, the pain is real, the journey's been tough. But let me tell you, the pain I had almost two years ago to the pain I'm in now, night and day. You can change things. You can change your physical narrative. Biohacking. Hi, it's Kelly and welcome back to Me More TV. If you're new to my channel, I make videos about paleo beauty and lifestyle. But this video, well, it sort of falls under the umbrella of lifestyle. It's a video that so many of you have asked for, especially all my friends, my following friends on Instagram. I know everyone says this, but please, if you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you get notified when my next video comes out. So today's video is about osteoarthritis, predominantly in my knees. I'm gonna give you my history, I'm gonna talk about my treatment, and I'm going to talk about how I've reduced severe pain. You know, the highs, the lows, and biohacks, I guess you would call them, that I do now, because I've gone from extreme pain to not even moderate pain. My pain has reduced immensely. So let's start with a snapshot of my, my history. First of all, I'll start with my mum. My mum had arthritis in her shoulders, in her ankles, in her knees. She didn't have it in her fingers and she had a double knee replacement. She was overweight and then she continued to put on more and more and more weight. Um, sadly, we lost her to bowel cancer uh, in May 2018. So it's in my DNA, although they say it's not hereditary. I don't know about that, don't know what I believe because I know my brother is struggling with it in his feet. At age 39, I got, decided to get fit. That's all on, I can slide that in. There's a, how I lost my 15 kilos before I turned 40. But I just started doing CrossFit. I started running. I had never, I just let myself go, basically. You know, I'd, I'd had my second child, put on the weight, couldn't lose the weight, and just was in this terrible rut. So I lost all that weight, got super fit, and I, I was on it for, I kept it going for a couple of years, but because I never had the muscle around my knee, I did, had no support there. Running was probably the worst thing for it. And I had a tear on the meniscus in here, in here, on both knees. And I went in, um, I saw my knee surgeon, Professor Haddad. He did arthroscopic surgery on both knees. <laughs> That was silly, doing them both at the same time, so painful, and I was out, I couldn't walk for weeks. But then, you know, did my physio, did my rehab, and he said to me, he goes, listen, your knees aren't great. He didn't say I had arthritis, he just said, your mum had a double knee replacement, not sure how long your knees are gonna last, basically. So I carried on training. My knees were never good. You know, they were, I couldn't do certain things, certain yoga positions, certain exercises. I knew what I could and couldn't do with my knees, but they were good enough, right? Then enter September 2019. I say I don't know what happened, but I think I do. I was in the park with my children and doing cartwheels and then I did a round off which I haven't done for like I hadn't done for like 30 years and it's when you sort of do it and you spring your feet together nothing hurt nothing but I was really impressed with myself <laughs> like woo the girls were impressed anyway we go home then my husband and I are going out for drinks we come out we walk out of the bar we're not intoxicated we're going to the restaurant I take one step out and I literally collapse I could not walk, I could not put any, I couldn't put this foot down. He had to carry me on his back and he carried me home. And that was the beginning of my journey till now. So I couldn't walk for weeks. I went and saw a um, orthopedic surgeon consultant, not my own, and he did an MRI and then he did the x-rays. And he was like, you have severe osteoarthritis. It is bone on bone. I was like, what does that mean? It's like, well, it means you're gonna to have to have a double knee replacement. And I was like, I was 48. I was like, what? I was bedridden, for, I could not walk. Then I went back to him and he said, let me inject some cortisone. Cause I was, met, I was heading to Australia, one of my dear friends, it was her daughter's wedding. And it was really important for me to be there. And I'm like, I've got to go to Australia in four weeks. And he was like, yep, yep, you should be fine. You should be fine. And he injected it with cortisone. I've never been in so much pain from an injection. He literally like just stabbed it. I was like, I can't even tell you what I said, but I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna go back and see my Professor Haddad because you know, he is one of 
the best here and you know what he did worked the cortisone was just like a big band-aid basically but it took the pain away and so then i went and saw professor haddad and he said look kelly we can you can rehab it see what you can do it's just buying you time he goes you know you will have to get a double knee replacement and i'm like when when he goes when you can't bear the pain anymore i was like ah! And I was in so much pain, I can't tell you. Now, during this time, that, that eight years from turning 40 and getting fit, having the tear on the meniscus, I continued to train and I was doing hot yoga, I was doing weights, I was getting stronger, but I was always restricted because there's things that I could and couldn't do. So all of that had to stop, you know, everything stopped. I'd already put on a bit of weight because mum had passed. And I didn't realize, but I was also um, perimenopausal at the time. It was horrible. It was a horrible time because I just felt like everything had been taken away from me. And then I was introduced to isokinetics. Now, isokinetics, that's, it's an amazing place. It was physio, hydrotherapy, and PT. There is a video, I'm going to put it up on my Instagram. It's just a short video of my time there. One thing, have a look at, you can have a look at my shape then and have a look at my shape now. Just to, when I say shape, it's weight, okay? One pound of weight on your body is four pounds of pressure on your knee. So I've shifted a lot of that and I'm proud of that. And I'm proud of that. So I start my journey with isokinetics and it was meant to be twice a week for three weeks. Um, I started it before I went to Australia, then I came back from Australia. I ended up being there for about three months and it was intense, you know, it was, they were amazing. Please have a look at the, the video on Instagram. I was doing physio, they were using TENS machines. I was in the pool twice a week doing hydrotherapy. I hate the pool. I don't like swimming, I don't. I love the ocean and I love a pool, but I'm not for exercise. I find it the most boring thing in the world. So that was interesting, but I met some fabulous international football stars from all around the world because that's where they all go for their rehab. That was fun. <laughs> About three months there, got the cortisone, boom, I'm out of there. And that was January last year. I started training again. And at the first session, I just tweaked. You know, a lot of trainers don't adapt to your injuries or don't know how to. And I just knew it and I was trying to do what I used to do and I, I couldn't. I was filled with fear, so I didn't do it. You know, I, I actually just stopped training altogether until November last year, I meet this amazing, crazy chick called Belinda from Australia, Brisbane, Australia. We actually met in Brisbane, Australia. That's another story. She is phenomenal. She is the best trainer I have ever, ever worked with in my life. Everything I do, she adapts for my knees, for my shoulders, for my mental health. If I'm just, my hormones are out of whack, I'm not feeling great. She won't push it. She knows how to manipulate the body, but also work with the body and, and with my mind. She listens, she really listens. And I've been training with her since then. She has changed my life, my life, without a doubt. She would not train me until I bought these mechanical knee braces and i had to wear them i think i wore them for at least the first six weeks until then we moved on to the knee uh, supports you know she put this little trampoline in front of me and was like you know let's get on that i'm like are you freaking mad i thought this girl's gonna kick she's gonna do to my knees and i was filled with fear for a long time it took a long time for me to really trust her because she just made me do things that i'd never done before but it's what i should have been doing before if that makes sense so I had these mechanical knee braces on and she just slowly started rehabbing me. And if you can see what I do now on the rebounder, have a look on my IGTV. I did a little quick review, I guess, on about the rebounder, my little trampoline. Game changer, changed my life, do it every day. And what it's done for my knees, I just, I can't tell you. Anyway, so I started training with her and then she also looked after me with nutrition, but you know, I'd like her to talk about that sort of stuff. And I lost nine kilos. I've got muscles that I never ever had before. Well, maybe I did, but not as defined. My osteoarthritis in my shoulders uh, is fantastic. <laughs> Touch wood. I had cortisone injections in both of my shoulders, but I also have calcification in my shoulders, but all of that has, has basically dissipated or, you know, been broken down into my body. Um, 
my osteoarthritis in my fingers, took my nail polish off, is probably the most pain I have. My osteoarthritis in my knees, it is still bone on bone. I continue to try and work with increasing the strength and the muscle around my knee because I don't have it. I don't have a lot of muscle at all. I was training with Belinda three times a week before my 50th because I had my goal and now I train with her twice a week. Everything I'm about to show you is what she has introduced to me. So once we went from the mechanical knee braces and then we moved into these. These are knee supports. I almost never not wear them. I wear them under my jeans. At my 50th, okay, I'm gonna show you a photo. At my 50th, I had them under my dress and I actually wore heels, not that high, but I wore heels, but there's no way I was going to attempt that without wearing my knee supports. And I knew I would be dancing all night. I wear a size four, but I've also bought a size three and I changed the color because with the weight loss, these are just a little bit firmer, but sometimes they feel too tight it depends how I am feeling too, and whether how much fluid is going through my body, whether I'm bloated, or not, and I swap between the two. Everything I'm about to talk about, you will have direct links in the description below. I ice my knees every night, even when I don't train. I get my feet up on my pillow, elevate, or I literally, they're iced, and get them above my head because you want all that blood to flow down and flow around and all around the knee, get it all going, because I've got so much, still so much inflammation around the knee. And then every other night, or when the pain is just a little bit too overbearing, I use my TENS machine. Again, Belinda recommended all of this for me. You just put a little bit of water there and there, and then that just goes literally around your knee like this and I do it in bed and if I'm going to read or watch some Netflix, I don't know, read. And then I elevate my leg. And I was only doing this on my um, right knee, but Belinda said, make sure you alternate because what it does, it just um, stimulates the nerve and it can literally take the pain away immediately. So I do that when I need it and you've got four different settings and you can raise the intensity. <laughs> Be careful, make sure you read it properly because there's one where it goes until it's about 10 minutes, then it starts going bzz, bzz, bzz. And if you've got that on 20, I remember going, ah, ah, turn it down, turn it down <laughs> because it was too much. Make sure you read the instructions properly. You know what's interesting is, because I also have an osteopath that I see, who's actually, he's an energy healer, he's a spiritual man, and um, he also works a little bit with my knees. But I remember when I first went, when all this happened, and I went and saw him, and I was just so doom and gloom, and oh my gosh, you know, and I'm telling them what the doctors have said, and now they've said, gosh, your left knee is worse than your right knee. And he said, oh, okay, and the right knee was the one that I collapsed on. He goes, so Kelly, how, how's your left knee? I'm like, oh, left knee's great. Left knee's fantastic. He goes, and your left knee is worse than your right knee. And that was a really good me mental shift for me. I was like, you're right. So I've just got to rehab this one back. And that's what I'm doing. I have been rehabilitating my knees for almost two years. And it's, it, I don't stop. This is not gonna stop. This will go on and on. Yes, my future is a double knee replacement. I know that, I can't change that. But what is changing is technology and science and the way they do things now. So if I can just prolong it a little bit more, I don't know how much longer, who knows what will be available rather than what they might be doing today in two years, five years, maybe the uh, research will be so much more advanced and less intrusive. Who knows? I take magnesium every night. I take three magnesium every night. I use when I'm in extra pain, I spray on my magnesium joint spray. One other thing, which, you know, I can feel this. I can feel it when I walk. I cannot go out for a walk with the family wearing what I used to wear, which would be all my golden goose, beautiful golden goose. See that? Totally flat. If I go out and walk in these for more than 10 minutes, my knee starts to hurt, and that's with my knee support. So Belinda introduced me to Hoka, these Hoka shoes. I train in these shoes. If I go for long walks with the family, I wear them. They cushion my every step. If you suffer from arthritis in your knees, your shoes are so important. And also just all your exercise. Exercise, keep them moving, keep them moving. You know, I danced for four months every day until I turned 50. 
I thought, oh my God, what am I going to do to my knees? But it was the best thing for my knees. You can see that on my Instagram. They're all in my reels. All right, that's it. I hope that you have gained something new or some sort of support system that you can apply to your pain with your arthritis. There's so much we can do. And can I just say, this is an investment. You invest, you buy a house, you invest, you buy a car. None of that matters if you don't have your health. If you're, if you're not around to enjoy it. Put that investment into you. This is it, you know? Health is wealth, as my husband says. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and got a few tips from this that can help you with your pain threshold. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. My fingers and, oh, I need to take that nail polish off.